Jesus bless you, I miss you. Today's math video is going to talk a little bit about rounding. Hopefully this is a review for a lot of you, but it never hurts to go back over something. Now, a couple things we need to know when we're rounding. Rounding is going to make the math part easier. We try and make the numbers simpler to use, so there's not so many digits. In order to do that, you have to know when to go up and when to stay the same, stay home. I like to think of it as a hill. Zero, one, two, three, four are on this side of the hill. I'm going to roll on home if I'm on my roller skates or my skateboard or my scooter. I'm just going to roll on home. But once I get to number five, I'm over the hill. And so if I'm over the hill, I'm going to go up one. If I'm going to do that for five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So remember, if I have a small number, zero, one, two, three, four, I'm going to roll on home and stay the same. If I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, I'm going to go over the hill and up one. The other thing that you need to remember with numbers is where the front of a number is. In a number, we always say the front is the biggest value. It's on the left-hand side. So in 513, the front of the number is 5. 5 is in front of 1, 1 is in front of 3, 3 is last. In 25, 2 is in front, 5 is in back. In 6,782, 6 is in front, 7 is next, it is in front of 8, and 8 is in front of 2. So our line always starts from the left and goes to the right. Front of the number, back of the number. Now, let's review the steps of how to round. When you get really good at this, people who are really good can just look at the number and round it. But while you're working on it, and if you have a hard time, these steps will help you. The first step is to circle the place value that you're working with. If you're rounding to the nearest 10, you're going to circle the tens number. Rounding to the nearest 100, you'll circle the hundreds number, etc. Then you're going to look at the back neighbor. So, if I'm looking at the 6, the back neighbor is the 7. If I'm looking at the 2, the back neighbor is the 5. If I'm looking at the 5, the back neighbor is the 1. If I look at the 8, the back neighbor is the 2. So once you circle the number, you're going to look at the number behind it. Then you're going to decide, do I roll on home, and roll on back and stay home, or do I go over the hill and up one? And then you're going to make your changes. Whatever you circled will change or stay the same, depending on where you are on the hill. What's behind it will become a zero, and what's in front of it you will keep. So let's practice with a couple numbers. So I'm going to slide this over a little bit and hold this up here so that we can practice. Okay? First number is 75. If I'm rounding to the nearest 10, I'm going to circle the number in the tens place. That's the 7. Then I'm going to look at the back neighbor. That's the 5. He's the one who tells me if I'm over the hill and up one or rolling on home and staying the same. 5 is over the hill and up one. So the circled number goes over the hill and up one. That's the one that's going to change. It's going to become an eight. Anything in front of the number, there's nothing. I don't have to worry about it, but I would keep that. Anything behind it becomes a zero. We're not going to worry about it. So 75 rounds to 80. In 263, the number in the tens place is the six. So I circle it. Then I look at the back neighbor. It's a three. The three tells me to roll on back and stay home. So I decide this number is going to stay. Change or stay, it's going to stay a six. Anything in front of it, I keep. Anything behind it becomes a zero. So 263 rounds to 260. In 948, going to circle the four tens. Look at the back door neighbor. Eight is over the hill and up one, so my circled number goes up one. Anything in front of it stays the same. Anything behind it becomes a zero, rounds to 950. 
Ooh, big number, 3,261. I'm gonna circle the tens place. Look at the backdoor neighbor. Backdoor neighbor is just a tiny one. Roll on home, stay the same. So the six is gonna stay the same. Everything in front of it stays. Everything behind it becomes a zero, 3,260. We're gonna try and round our couple numbers to the nearest hundred. In 324, now I'm circling the hundreds place. That's the three. Still look at the back door neighbor. The two, tiny number, roll on home, stay the same. The three stays the same. Anything in front of it I keep. There's nothing in front of it. What's behind it, both numbers become zeros. So 324 rounds to 300. In 692, the six is in the hundreds place. Look at the nine. The nine is over the hill and up one. So that six goes up one. Everything in front of it, nothing. Stays the same, everything behind it. Everything becomes a zero. So it rounds to 700. In 4,129, I'm still looking at hundreds. I circle the hundreds number. Look at the back door neighbor, that's a two. Roll on home, stay the same, stay the same. What's in front of it, now I have a number there, I keep. What's behind it becomes a zero, both numbers. We round to 4,100. Last one, I gave you a trickster. Let's take a look. Number in the hundreds place is a nine. Back door neighbor is a seven. Seven is over the hill and up one. What's one more than nine though is 10. I'm gonna write it here so that you can see, kind of like carrying, we're gonna carry that and make it an extra thousand. So even though usually we stay the same, this is actually gonna be an eight because I made this a 10 and then everything behind it is a zero. That's a tricky one. If you don't get that every time, I understand, but keep working at it. I hope you enjoyed practicing rounding today. Keep doing math, keep learning, and hopefully we'll get to see each other again soon. Jesus bless you. I miss you. Bye-bye.